香港、泰国或是日本成为很多人这个夏天的记忆。大量人群重新回到这些热门观光景点，感受到人群拥挤的同时，却依旧视情非其比。根据牛津经济研究院的统计，其实对这些亚洲地区来说，旅游人数也只有疫情前的四到六成。The majority of inbound tourism into APAC markets is actually coming from elsewhere in APAC. It accounts for about 80% of inbound travel to destination markets here. So the slowness in APAC tourists. Returning to the international travel market is actually a big part of the reason why the, the tourism recovery has been slower here. 亚洲地区解封完，预计要到二零二五年才能恢复以往的旅游热潮。已经十次荣获全球最佳航空公司的 ANA， 到现在仍然感受到疫情期的冲击。It's a very difficult situation. I believe that the impact of the pandemic is still being felt today. The environment surrounding us is still changing, but I think it is important for us to keep up and to adapt quickly. 全日空社长说的含蓄，疫情后的旅游潮才慢慢回流，又还有俄乌爆发战争之后对飞航的限制，航空业要维持发展，要花更大的心力。Airlines from East Asia always fly over Russia when flying to Europe. The fact that we can no longer fly over Russian airspace has had a very large impact on us. The flight time is longer. Fuel costs are higher. The business environment has become very difficult to deal with. 相对于亚洲、欧美地区，去年就出现一波报复性旅游人潮，但去年夏天航空业人手不足，加上罢工阴霾，让今年暑假的旅程依旧带了点胆战心惊。We really wanted to be back in business again and serve our customers the way the way they are used to. We had already a test period last May holiday, and it went great. People had to wait in line for 15 minutes, 20 minutes. So we are back to to the way we performed before, and and offer the customers a very nice and relaxed, hopefully. 尽管旅游业者还有旅客都摩拳擦掌，但对各国积极高喊减碳环保这样飞来飞去的旅游方式，恐怕不太理想。想达到净零碳排，就连旅行也要改变方式。We're really not saying that people will be traveling less. You know, we'll still be taking as many trips as we've always wanted to take. We'll just be finding new ways of doing it. We can either exceed Climate limits. With all the bad news that comes with that, we can either curtail behaviour even more, or we can try and work somewhere in the middle where we can actually say, yes, actually, you are, you know, your freedom of movement will not be altered. You can go and have wonderful experiences, but it's going to be different. 包括搭乘火车替代飞机，利用大众运输或是电动车，从交通上改变是第一步。关注环保的旅游业者就推出兼顾环保又贴近在地的行程，部分资金收入还会投入保育工作，要让高排碳的旅游产业能发挥最大化的价值。Yeah, we recognise that it's unrealistic that no one's ever going to fly. So people do fly. It's all about making sure when they get there, it counts. It's maximising the benefit to the local community, maximising the, the Benefits to the the local environment. The tourist dollar, the money we're spending, can have a huge impact on the conservation of our natural world. Tourism is one of the best ways we could achieve that, actually. 航空业者也没有停下脚步，全日空就陆续使用生质燃料，还喊出二零五零年净零碳排的承诺。Whether the 2050 net zero goal can be achieved is a very difficult question, but it must be realized. Our staff will work hard on this issue. 在疫情冲击后，又要跟着加快环保转型的速度，旅游。产业面临的困境比以往都还要多，不止应对夏季的旅游潮回流，挑战才刚开始。区别新闻综合报道，想看最完整的新闻内容，记得下载 TVBS 新闻网 APP。